welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a super fun video that I'm really excited about. As you can probably tell by my whole look going on right now, I'm going to be doing a game day get ready with me for a USC football game. This video is sponsored by Sexy Hair, so thank you so much to them. If you guys don't know, I am a senior at USC, so it's my last year of game days. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do my hair, how I do my makeup, and what I'm wearing for this game day. And if you guys want to see photos from game days, be sure to be following me on my Instagram. It's just at Tasha because I tend to post a lot from game days. <laughs> yeah, so without further ado, if you guys want to see how I get ready for games, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so here I am all barefaced and whatnot. I'm actually going to start with my hair today, switch some things up. Right now it's just like pretty much natural. I showered yesterday and kind of let it do its thing. So I'm going to curl my hair. I love curling my hair for game days. I just think it's really fun and I love having like big voluminous curls. So we're going to do that today. Basically, I'm going to be curling my hair with this Numi wand. I feel like this is like one inch probably. I don't really have any distinct way of doing it. I just kind of make sure my hair is all brushed out and then I basically just section the front off from the back and just go from there and then I will just go straight into the back and start curling it. Like so and then I just hold it for a few seconds until it feels hot and let it fall into my hand like so and then I just kind of hold it here until it cools down a bit to kind of keep the shape. It looks really, really curly now. I always do it really curly to begin with. And then at the end, I hairspray it all and then kind of let it go and then it falls out to where I want it. So I'll show you guys one more time. Let it fall into my hand and then let it fall like that. Yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory. After I do this section, I do the same to the back section and then I work my way to the front. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back. after it's all curled. I know it's super curly right now, but that's kind of why I wanted to do it before my makeup because I know it'll just like loosen up a bit. It's also really, really hot and humid out today, so I wanted to start off with my hair as curled as possible. Okay, and for hairspray, I'm going to be using the Big Sexy Hair Get Layered Flash Dry Thickening Hairspray. Like I said, even though I do want this to fall a little bit, I still want to put hairspray in so that it doesn't just flatten out completely, and this does a really great job of holding my style in place. Hairspray can kind of scare me sometimes because I don't want my hair to be feeling crunchy or hard or sticky but this hairspray is awesome because it's buildable and dries super quickly so I never have that problem all right so I'm just gonna spray this in my hair and right now I'm just gonna do a light layer because I like to do a little more before I leave just so it kind of all stays for sure this stuff also smells really good which is amazing because I always love having good smelling hair so always a plus all right, so for game day, I pretty much do the same makeup that I would do on a daily basis, but I just add a few extra things like glitter and that kind of stuff. So this is kind of just going to be a run through of my everyday makeup, but I still want to show you guys how I get ready. Something that I definitely, definitely need to use. This is the Urban Defense Complexion Primer. It's a primer for my makeup, but this has SPF and it's supposed to kind of help in humidity and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put this all over my face and hope that it keeps my makeup from sweating off. <laughs> and with this stuff, a little goes a long way. Okay, so after primer, I'm going to use concealer. So I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I just put this under my eyes and then sometimes on my nose and just on places that I wanna conceal. Oh, also my mirror is over here. So if I'm looking over here and not into the camera, that's why I kind of tried to do a little new setup here. <laughs> okay, so I just dampened my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend this in using some padding motions 
and I kind of try to blend my concealer up my cheekbone to add like a little highlight thing. Okay, so once I have all my concealer on, I'm gonna be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. This will help me from getting greasy or shiny because like I've already said a bunch of times in this video, it's gonna be hot and humid today. <laughs> Okay, so post powder, I like to do eyebrows, and we all know I can't do them on camera. I really struggle, so I'm gonna tell you how I do them. But basically, I take the NYX Micro Brow, Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. This is a dupe for the Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz. They're basically the same. This one, I just feel like, has more product in it, and it's cheaper, so I grabbed this one. And then I also have the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. So with the little pencil, I kind of fill in the front of my eyebrow and then I do the rest with this bad boy. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so once my eyebrows are filled in, I always set them so they just look a little more nice and they're not flopping around. So I always use the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara, kind of wipe off the excess and then brush my brows in place. Okay, so after eyebrows, I do eyeshadow, and I typically like to keep it pretty neutral. I'm not out here doing red and yellow. <laughs> I do like to have a little bit of something. So I think today I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat. It looks like this. It's just like warm matte shades, pretty much. I'm gonna start off by taking a fluffy brush and just using Vibrate. <laughs> Urban Decay always has interesting names. And then kind of just put this all over my eyelid just to put like a wash of color on there and then I'm gonna mix hot spell and wild thing and kind of put those in my crease a bit okay and then I'm also going to take a little bit of the last two colors heist heist I think it's heist and strike really lightly and then kind of mix those into my outer corner crease area. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do to kind of finish off the eyeshadow look is just kind of mix these colors together and drag them underneath my lower lash line. Okay, and then to finish off the eye look, I'm using the shade Inhale and I'm using that as a highlight on my brow bone, brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, so after I have the eyeshadow all set, I'm going to add some eyeliner to my upper lash line. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. I do like a medium-ish line on my upper lash line and I definitely cannot get it on camera because I'm not that skilled and don't wanna mess it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so once I have the eyeliner done, I'm going to put on a bunch of mascara. My mascara changes all the time, but I'm currently using this CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. So I'm gonna put this all over my eyelashes. And yeah, I'm gonna put a bunch of this on because I really like how a lot of mascara looks. Okay guys, so mascara is on, it's the home stretch. I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush, not too much because I'm gonna be putting something else on my face, you'll see in a minute, but this is just the Tarte Blush in Risqué and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. So normally I would be applying highlighter to my cheekbones, I'm not going to because you'll see why, but I am gonna put a little bit of highlighter on my nose. This is the Becca highlighter in Opal. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the tip of my nose here. Okay, so the reason that I hadn't put anything on my cheekbones is because I found this glitter. A company sent me a PR package and it had a bunch of glitters in it, but then I looked at them and I found this one. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but they're basically little gold and silver star glitters. So I thought if I put these on my cheekbones, it would look super cute. Yeah, so at Coachella, I used a similar chunky glitter and then I used my friend Dini's NYX Glitter Primer. This is still hers, she let me use it for today. But I'm just gonna try and put some of this on my cheekbones. I think it could be cute. Hopefully it doesn't look really bad. We'll see how it goes. This is really just gonna be 
me winging it. Oh my gosh, the glitter is everywhere. Okay, this glitter is spilling everywhere and I'm really not looking forward to picking it up later. But we're gonna test this out. So I'm just gonna take some of this and I guess just put it on my cheekbones where I'd put highlighter and then I'm gonna like plop the glitter down. I mean, we'll see, I guess. Ooh, I think this is looking cool. Okay, <laughs> um, we'll try the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna experiment a little bit more with this and then I'll come back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think it's really, really fun. I really like it. So I have glitter all over my floor now. Little stars are everywhere. So I'm gonna have to clean those up later, but I need to do one final step. I don't really like wearing lip products, so I just bring chapstick with me. And then I'm going to set my makeup with the Urban Decay setting spray. Okay, so now that my makeup is done, it's time to change into my outfit, which is the super fun part. Okay guys, so this is my outfit. I am super excited about it because game day outfits are some of my favorite things to put together. By the way, USC dresses like this. I know all schools dress differently for tailgates, but this is the kind of stuff that we wear. So first I'm wearing this really, really cute bandeau crop top that says Trojan, and it's kind of like a Louis Vuitton vibe. I got it from this shop on Instagram, so I will link them in the description, but I think it's super cute. So at USC, a lot of people wear like cheer skirts, and I wear those sometimes, but I like to switch it up a lot and wear denim skirts too. So I found this like bright yellow denim skirt from Boohoo. It's like a little bit big, but it'll do, and I think it's really cute. I love the rips. I love the color. And then I have this little clear bag. It's kind of smushed because it was packed. <laughs> but basically, if you decide to go to the football games, you need to wear a clear bag so they can see what's in it. So I have my little red clear bag and then my little yellow pom-pom. And then my favorite part of all game day looks are my red and yellow checkered vans. I literally found these on eBay in my size. So I don't really know how you could get them if you wanted them. But... They're my favorite thing ever. I'm really sad that I'm graduating because I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm probably just going to keep them. And if I come to any other tailgates next year, then I'll wear them then. But yeah, this is my outfit today. Okay, so that was the hair, makeup, and outfit for game days. I'm about to head out the door. But before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit more hairspray. I like to kind of <laughs> shake it all up. As you guys can see, it's kind of fallen a bit, which I really like, but it still kept its shape and volume from the hairspray, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. The last step is to add some sunglasses. I'm not gonna wear these inside, but I'm wearing these cute little red cat eye ones just to kind of finish off the look. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in this hairspray, I will be linking it down below. Sexy hair is the best, so check it out down there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Fight on!